Coming up in this video, we'll be showing you the CAT certification package. Hello, my name is Tom Honig. We're here at GTI Predictive Technology to show you a video on the Caterpillar commissioning package that we've put together uh, for Caterpillar Corporate. Uh, it consists of vibration analysis, deflection measurement of crankshafts, and laser shaft alignment of both the driven component and the Caterpillar engine. Uh, this was started with the G36 series, but we'll cover all Caterpillar or other driven engines uh, to driven components. Um, it is all iPad based. I want to first show you this is our iPad. Uh, it is in an industrial uh, case that can be uh, used in tough environments and broadcasted next to me you're actually going to see the motions and the uh, software that I'm going to demonstrate as I also show you the hardware. And the first part of this is vibration analysis. We're going to do key points of vibration on as you see in the picture alongside of me the engine block and the driven equipment. And it's very simply depicted here so that you have all the different places that you're going to place this wireless accelerometer onto both the engine block and the driven equipment. So it couldn't be easier. You're just going to follow the prompts. Place, I'm going to place this on the simulation motor here so that we can get a spectrum. I'm going to turn it on. And you're going to immediately see a spectrum come up. And what Caterpillar has spec'd out is we're going to have a cursor both on half speed and running speed of both the driven equipment and the engine block. And as I tap on each one of these points where my accelerometer is, which is wireless, so you have no cords or wires to worry about, uh, it will put that appropriate data into that data block. So as I move it along, it also turns green so that you know which area you've taken data at and which areas you have left to take data on. So you just follow through. I'm going to simulate here and turn them all green and I'm going to say generate report and it's immediately going to generate a report with a map of where you are, uh, the engine block and a picture of whatever you take a picture of both your driven uh, equipment and your engine block and it will also show all the data below as you can see. As I hit generate report again, I'll just pause for a moment here, you'll see the report in its full format and as I scroll through you'll see a red circle around the data there where I took it all the data that's included this is overall by velocity acceleration um, displacement and of course that half speed and full speed and displacement is well depicted in this report we hit close report and save report it saves it right to the device and we are done now, as I back up into this application, you'll see we, our next block there is crankshaft deflection. As we open that part of the app, now we're on the same platform, same tool, and as you can see, we have a cat, uh, crankshaft deflection test. I have all these fields for oil, water temperature, ambient temperature. I can even do an end play test. But as you see in front of me, I have both the uh, Michitoyo gauge and a wireless um, transmitter that's transmitting this data. I am again without cables on this device while I'm doing this test. We do have a cord tethered to the uh, Michitoya device so that we can go through all the cylinder blocks across the block without having to move the wireless device that has an accelerometer in it that tells us where we are in rotation of that crankshaft for each data point we're taking. As you can see in the screen, I've got a green B here. That's the position I'm in right now and it's lit up and blinking telling me to tap that and collect that data. That data immediately gets put in the block below. As I rotate this you'll see that now does not turn green but yet the next A turns green and now I can tap that point and collect that data and I would do that on all the different uh, there's five points on a crankshaft for that deflection test. Those all get instantly automatically put into those blocks so that I can at the end of I'm only doing one cylinder here but I can uh, go through and do up to 12 cylinders I hit generate report and my report there is done as well and I'd be able to merge these reports together after we're all finished into one singular report so I'd like to back out of this and then simply go to the shaft alignment section 
of this demonstration. And I'm going to start a new alignment and I'm going to put it in the demo mode here for you and immediately you're going to see the information that you have to put in for measurements. But I have a 3D animated image of my movable and my driven component here. Very, very simple. As I collect data and press the green button, I rotate the components here on the shaft and that will simultaneously rotate on the, sh on the picture here on the iPad as well to let me know when that block turns green that I know I can take another data point. I will do that three times. It will then go into a mode that will tell me what to adjust on that. So it will actually pull out and tell me what size shims to put underneath that uh, motor to make it level and get to our alignment specifications. And then when my shimming is done, it will actually move into a horizontal mode that I, we can tap and move side to side to get that to a perfect specification. Can't be simpler to use. Anybody can do alignment with this system. Once the adjustment is done, we do a remeasure, make sure everything is within specification. We generate our third report from here and simply uh, merge those reports with the other reports. Now we're going to open up the CAT certification app again and merge all three of these reports, one for vibration analysis, one for web deflection, and one for the alignment we just did. So now in the report manager, we're able to select which reports we want to merge. These are the three reports that we're going to combine, and it'll ask us where we want to save that, and we want to save it there. And here we are going through all of the reports as one big, long 14-page report which you can then email or print off directly from the iPad. Um, again, this is a full system. It all comes in a nice Pelican case. Uh, everything you need for all three tools. Um, we have plenty of instructions and manuals built right into the applications, or you can reach out to us at www.gtipredictive.com or call us at 603-669-5993. We thank you for your attention and we hope to hear from you soon.